Basically, the word psychology derives its meaning from the two Greek words, psyche plus logos. Psyche means soul and logos means science or knowledge. Thus, psychology literally means the science of soul. This is the traditional approach of the study of psychology. Traditional psychology attempt to study the location of the soul, its nature, its state after the death of an individual. When we are not sure about the location of the soul, attempting to investigate its nature is akin to the effects of a blind man searching for a black cat and that too in the place where it is not. So the definition of psychology as a study of soul has been given up. Psychology belongs to the school of structuralism defined psychology as a science of mind. According to them, mind functions in three domains, cognitive, affective and cognitive. This mind was regarded as consciousness and this is the ultimate element of it are sensation, feelings and images. It was broken to objective sensation and subjective feelings. Thus, psychology is defined as a science of consciousness. School of functionalism psychologists consider psychology as a science of conscious mind like structuralist. But they have remarked the experience is a continuous dream of consciousness. But behavioral psychologists and others question the validity and bitterly criticize introspection method as unreliable to study the conscious individual. They define psychology as a science of observable and measurable behavior. They try to define behavior in terms of stimulus and response. Behaviorists deny any role of mind in determining our behavior. Think for a moment about now the school of psychology that I have listed. You can pause this video, think about these two questions for a minute and write your answer in the copy. Which you have once you have written the complete answer, then you can restart playing this video by clicking on it. So I hope all of you completed this activity. Let me now answer the first question. First question, it belongs to school of behaviorism. And nowadays in normal schools, all belongs to the behaviorism. Here they believe stimulus and response. In the same way, the answer as well of you had guessed, it is the school of behaviorism. Now, to answer the second question, school of functionalism. There is not only the schools of psychology, let us see the other schools of psychology also in the continuing video. As a revolt against structuralism, functionalism and behaviorism, just as schools of psychology emerge and they advocate to view everything as a whole and study and its totality. It is a science of observing totality of physical and mental behavior. This school of thought looks at the human mind and behavior as a whole, not in parts. Gestalt advocates that human behavior is based on one's perception and perception is influenced by our past experience. Sigmund Freud psychoanalysis defined psychoanalysis as a science of observing unconscious motives and internal conflicts in human behavior. It emphasizes the role of unconscious mind in the actions of the individual. It goes deep into the sub meritan level of the mind as well as its roots and springs of human behavior. Humanistic psychology defined psychology as science of understanding, non-verbal experience and altered states of consciousness as a means of realizing one's full human potential and they have played an active role in determining how they behave. Cognitive psychologists view psychology as a science of understanding the mental process including how people think, perceive, remember and learn. Evolutionary psychology reasserted the importance of inborn or intuitive practice of behavior. Science studies the roots of behavior and mental process using the principle of natural selection. In this way, many schools of psychology and psychologists significantly contribute to the growth of psychology and made it attain today the status of positive behavioral science. As mentioned, the science of behavior should be understood in a broad manner to refer not only the observable over behavior activity but also covert and inferred behavior which could be designated as a mental or unconscious activity 
as such psychology is defined as a scientific study of behavior and mental process and how they are affected by an organism's physical state mental state and external environment psychology is a science that systematically studies an attempt to explain observable behavior and its relationship to unseen mental process that goes into the inside the organisms and external events in the environment thus this is the psychology historical development and its emergence of psychology as a subject subject thank you for listening